name is Anton Alvarez, and I am the inventor of the thread wrapping machine. What should I do now? Should I look into the camera? It's mine. How should, how should I look? I don't know. And my introduction to the world of design and art was through the world of graffiti. Just like he was doing graffiti, uh, he was doing big paintings, colorful paintings, and very fast paintings. He's now building furniture in the same way, very colorful, very fast, and very large objects. Our generation don't want to make things that already has been done. We want to make new things our way. What can I do later today? Oh, that's a cute dog. I need to order this carpet for the Gustav's Place exhibition. I think Anton could be quite a lot in his own world, I guess, but at the same time he's very open-minded and, and open to new impressions. In my mind, I'm quite occupied with thinking. This is quite nice. What is this? Some snow still here. I wonder this is quite good. I wonder if this could be used for something. He's so fast in interrupting his own thoughts and uh, starting a new one. Yeah, that's true. Did I forgot anything? Yeah, maybe I should. No, it's fine. I don't know if I have the keys for the... One mailbox. Yeah, so I think we need to get started with the wrapping. Uh, I think we're gonna make a stool. Uh, I think it's gonna be blue. Yeah, have this nice flex. Sometimes they look like houses, I don't know why. He's building the pieces right there in the moment. And just all of a sudden he can put the piece down, go to the saw and cut a new piece that he didn't think of before. While I'm making that thing that I was kind of predicting or planning, new things will happen, some things that are beyond my imagination. So I, I believe that working with my hands, that's the key to make new discoveries. And the innovation will always happen in the process of making something. In many ways, I see this process of constructing a piece together with my assistant as dancing. I am leading and the other person on the other side is following and trying to understand my intentions and how I want to move the piece. Okay, I need to wash my hands. I think that what drives Anton is an obsession in creating things that no one has seen before. I like the fact that he invented a new craft. So this machine is in some way very engineered and planned. So I have this perfectly planned tool to make this unexpected result. The materials which I use to construct a piece could be almost anything, but for the moment I'm using quite a lot of wood because it's easy for me to cut it up. But also I use aluminium, steel, plastic, pieces of ceramics, whatever I kind of I found in the environment around me. Wow, what's that? I see everything as inspiration. It is like a continuous research. I really want to make one more piece. I really want to make two more pieces. I really want to make hundreds of more pieces. I love it when I go to Anton's studio and uh, I get surprised by all the small miniature experiments, silver stuff, something from outer space or pyramids. Because Anton doesn't really talk about the creative process in that sense. It's more like you discover the actual pieces that he has been working with. Sometimes it's hard to know when a piece is finished or not. Then I get all confused and my head starts spinning. So 
sometimes my brain is not enough.